So A over B times B equals B. Of course, you could also multiply by A. I'm glad you brought that up. There's two different ways to... No, no, you couldn't multiply by A. I'm sorry. If you multiplied by A, it'd be A squared over B. So A over B times B equals A. The inverse operation of division is multiplication. That's a quiz or a test question, guys. Literally, the question says, what's the inverse operation of division? Then you have four choices, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. The answer is multiplication. Why do you learn that the inverse of... It says inverse, but let's go and do the opposite. That's right. Yes, we learned that the inverse of addition is subtraction and subtraction is addition. So what we're going to do here is the opposite of what we just did in the previous lesson. We, we're starting with 12, okay? So we're going to start with 12. Okay, we're going to divide by 4. So we're going to cut that into 4 pieces. Okay, and we know the answer is 3, but instead of figuring the answer out, what if we remultiplied each of these pieces by 4? 1, 2, 3, 4. We end up with 12 again. Okay, so if you undo what you just did, divide by 4 and then remultiply by 4, you end up with the same number. Okay, let's try another one here. Say so we start with 6. Okay, we're going to divide this by 2. Or no, we're going to divide it by, yeah, we're going to divide it by 2. So we divide by two, how many blocks do we have in each? Four. four. Yeah, there's four blocks in each, right? But we don't care about that. Let's say we remultiply by two. So we take each of these blocks, this block, and multiply it by two. We end up with what we started with, six. So in general, a, time, a over b times b equals a. And of course, there's different ways of writing it. You could do a division symbol b times b. It's the same thing. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and use kind of your example. Let's say x over y times y equals x. Okay, let's do a complicated one. This is all easy all right. stuff. Let's do, uh, let's see, a, no, 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 okay. Let's do square root of 7, a, b. We're going to use a different symbol here. We're going to do divided by 2, e squared, Okay, and then we're going to multiply by 2e squared. Anybody? Yes? Right, yes. So even though it's written differently, the, we're dividing and multiplying, which is the inverse of each other. So we just end up with the same thing we started with. All right, we will do one more. Even though we don't really need to, this one's pretty simple. We'll do the third way we can divide. So let's do e. Let's use our hand. Let's go back to our handy i. Do you remember what i represents? Square root of negative one, right? And if we re-multiply by i, we end up with what? E. Okay. Uh, nope. We're going to get to that in a second. 